more flatbread and olive oil, and take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes, and then bring it out with a ziti, okay? <laughs> Wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Oh, uh, thanks. You're wasting my time. Oh, hey, waiter, I asked for a Cabernet Sauvignon, not a Merlot. Next thing you know, he'll be bringing sparkling grape juice. Ugh. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. How so? for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. Hop in. Nice night out, huh? Freak Sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. You know it, the jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming... Being ...so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Shortly after this exchange, there was a garbled shout by the co-pilot and finally radio silence. Military officials have dispatched several units to the area to search for the crew and the missing aircraft. The names of the pilots are being withheld until their status can be confirmed. Another murder in Hollywood tonight at an adult bookstore. A peep show dancer was killed in the basement of the store and investigators are still trying to put the pieces together since no one present saw or heard anything. It is unknown at this time what the motives were, but the police are ruling out the Southland slasher as a suspect. Tourists attempting to pay their respects at actress Ginger Swan's grave at the Hollywood Eternal Cemetery were shocked to discover